Hey everyone, it's your girl Shana J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I so appreciate you being here. In today's video, we are gonna continue with my notes series where I feature some of the best or some of my favorite notes found in perfumes. Today, we're gonna feature the note Marshmallow. I absolutely love Marshmallow. Whenever I see that note in a perfume, I just know it's gonna be a love for me. Now, unfortunately, I just now took on two Marshmallow, so I only have six fragrances here that I'm gonna feature today, but they are all good. They are so heavy on Marshmallow, and I have one here that I don't even know if I could tolerate it, but it's so delicious and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So if you are a marshmallow lover, let's join the fun. Let's jump right into these fragrances. So the very first fragrance that I'm gonna start out with is Pink Princess and this one is by Verbal Bang and this is of course a flanker to the original Princess fragrance. Now this is completely different from the original Princess fragrance, which if I'm being honest, I am not a huge fan of, but I know a lot of people love that fragrance. But before I even get into my own thoughts on this fragrance, let's just um, give you guys some facts on this one. Pink Princess is a floral fruity fragrance. It opens up with notes of raspberry and pink grapefruit. In the heart, we do have hibiscus and honeysuckle. And in the base, we do have marshmallow and white amber. The most dominant note that you're gonna get in this perfume is most definitely the raspberry. The raspberry here pulls sweet, but a little bit tart. So it's basically giving what raspberry always gives in fragrances. Now, underneath that sweet, tart fruitiness, you get a bit of a floral muskiness coming in from the hibiscus. So I think those two notes are the most prominent and they make for a beautiful combination. Now, under that, the marshmallow does come in. So you get that sweetness, that fluffiness that marshmallow usually gives off in a fragrance. Now, this fragrance is often compared to Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. And let me say, yes, I'm gonna confirm that this fragrance does smell very similar to Wonderstruck, but there are differences to this fragrance. The sweet, tart, fruity notes in this fragrance is a bit more amped up, so it's a bit more prominent. And the sweet factor hits a little bit harder in this fragrance. For whatever reason, I do detect something a little bit plasticky in Wonderstruck. And unfortunately, it's also here, which is why I almost, I came this close to not recommending this fragrance, but it's still a beautiful fragrance. But I have to put that out there that there's a bit of a slight plasticky synthetic note in this fragrance and once the fragrance dries down that marshmallow note does get a little bit lighter so it's not as prominent as it was when you just spray it out which is odd because it is a base note in here so you're expecting that's gonna linger until the fragrance dies down but unfortunately that really doesn't happen it dries down to more of a sweet tart fruity scent less of a creamy marshmallowy kind of scent but i still wanted to add this fragrance to this list because it's still a beautiful fragrance but it's not a perfect fragrance if you understand what i mean so yeah this is a pink a princess and this is by Vera Wang. So the next fragrance on this list is for those of you guys who are diehard marshmallow fans. This one screams marshmallow. There are days where I'm like, okay, marshmallow, calm down because it is sweet, okay? Now, this is from Dossier and this one is called Floriental Marshmallow. I did buy this one a couple of months back. This is a dupe for Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. So if you're like me and you really dig Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, but for whatever reason you can't or won't spend $300 on a bottle of perfume, definitely check Dossier's rendition of Love Don't Be Shy. From what I understand, the fragrance is now called Floral Marshmallow. So it's no longer Floriental Marshmallow. So in case you go looking for this fragrance, don't be confused by that. It's the same fragrance. I guess for whatever reason, they did go in and change the name. Now, this fragrance opens up with notes of marshmallow, neroli, and bergamot. In the heart, we have orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, and orvis. And in the base, we do have 
amber, vanilla, and musk. The most prominent note that you're going to get from this fragrance is most definitely the marshmallow. The marshmallow note in here is so strong and so sweet and so sugary. Believe me, it is, okay? Now, underneath the marshmallow, you do get the orange blossom, which in my opinion, Post a little bit like laundry soap, which I am such a huge fan of. I don't know what it is about the combination of marshmallow and orange blossom that really appeals to me and really does appeal to a lot of people. It just gives that effect of sweet and clean all at the same time. I'm also able to pick up on the musk in this fragrance, so it's a very musky fragrance. I love the musky aspect of this fragrance because it does add a bit of sophistication to this fragrance. That's exactly what I love about this fragrance. You have this big marshmallow note that's very sweet and sugary but at the same time you get some cleanliness from the orange blossom and you also get that beautiful sophisticated musk in the base so beautiful scent i must add that i noticed that the liquid or the juice of this fragrance is getting a little bit darker so it's aging quite well but i also think that it's adding a bit of an extra layer of sweetness so as the fragrance ages it's getting a little bit sweeter so that's just a little bit of information for those of you guys who are planning to look into this fragrance it does get sweeter the longer you have it okay so you were warned okay guys so this is floriental marshmallow and this is Dossier's rendition of love don't be shy by killian so the next fragrance that i have on this list is by ariana grande and this one is called ari i really adore this fragrance i mean the bottle is so cute but the fragrance itself is even more beautiful it's just such a pretty girly fragrance it's one of those fragrances that i would say does pull a bit juvenile but there's something that's very appealing to people like a little bit older so i think anyone could wear this fragrance as long as you're looking for a really pretty girly feminine type of scent now i'm gonna give you guys the notes to this fragrance in the top we have raspberry pear and grapefruit in the heart we do have vanilla orchid lily of the valley and rose and in the base we have marshmallow musk and woody notes there is a bit of complexity to this fragrance and when I say complex, I don't mean it's like super unique. I just mean that it's not one dimensional. So you have some sweet fruitiness coming in from the raspberry. And you also have that creamy, sweet, sugary feel coming in from the marshmallow. And of course, there's some floors in here that pulls a little bit clean and fresh. So you already see what I'm talking about. There's so much going on it's fruity it's floral and there's a bit of a gourmand touch to this fragrance long lasting such a beautiful fragrance and yes for sure this is one of my favorite marshmallow fragrances just beautiful this is ari by ariana Grande. the next fragrance that i have on this list is just so beautiful i am so late to the party with this fragrance but at least i caught up and i hope if you're sleeping or if you have been sleeping on this fragrance you wake up like i did is from the house of Dolce and Gabbana and this one is called Parfum. This is the EDP. This fragrance right here is just so beautiful. Like there's no other word to describe this fragrance other than it's just so freaking beautiful. It is just so appealing to the nose. It's just a gorgeous uh, it's such a gorgeous scent. The very first time I encountered this perfume, if I'm being honest, I really didn't think much of it. I didn't think it's my bad or anything, but I think when I just experienced this perfume, I was a little bit too young to understand what this perfume was all about. So I kind of dismissed it and went on to other perfumes until I noticed that um, it was being featured a lot in a lot of people's favorites lists. So I was like, hmm, let me just go ahead revisit this fragrance just to see what everybody else is talking about not expecting to really think that much of it it was literally love at first sniff okay as soon as i smelled this fragrance i was like what the hell was i thinking beautiful beautiful fragrance 
Oh my God, it's so good. It is just so intoxicating. It's such a beautiful fragrance. Parfum is categorized as a floral fragrance. It opens up with the top notes of raspberry and neroli and a mandarin orange. In the heart, we have orange blossom and jasmine. And in the base, we do have marshmallow, vanilla, sandalwood, and heliotrope. Everything is just well balanced out. So depending on your nose, Depending on the perspective that you're looking at this fragrance from, you're going to pick up something else. For me, I do pick up the Orange Blossom that pulls a little bit laundry soap-ish. Under that, I am getting that sweet fluffiness of the marshmallow and that tart sweet fruitiness of the raspberry. Of course, there's a bit of powderiness and a bit of woodsiness because we do have sandalwood and heliotrope in this fragrance. But like I said, it's a well-balanced fragrance, so beautiful, so classy, almost to the point of being a little bit preppy. It is just such a beautiful, classy fragrance. I only wear this fragrance when I'm feeling, you know, really put together. I could never wear this fragrance when I'm feeling all bummy. That is not the vibe that I get from this fragrance at all. I only apply this fragrance when I'm feeling really, really good about myself, about the day that I'm about to have. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance and I cannot believe that I slept on this one for so long. If you're looking for a beautiful marshmallow fragrance with a touch of class, you will definitely love this fragrance. It's perfect for any age, so it's very versatile in that way. I would say that this is a classic from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. This is Parfum and this is the EDP. The next fragrance that I have on this list is a stunner it's such a beautiful unique addictive fragrance oh i love this one okay it is m by mariah carey now not a lot of people talk about this fragrance and it surprises me that it's not more talked about or raved about because it is actually a beautiful scent it does not smell celebrity like at all it genuinely smells like a really good, high quality perfume. Oh, mm. oh my God, it smells so good, so intoxicating. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is an amber floral fragrance. It opens up with notes of marshmallow and sea water. In the heart, we have tiare flower and gardenia. And in the base, we do have incense, amber and patchouli. What pulls the strongest to me in this fragrance is the incense. The incense gives this fragrance a bit of a warm spiciness and smokiness. And that's typically not what I look for in fragrances, maybe in my candles or, you know, something like that, but nothing to put on the body. But let me tell you, it smells really, really good especially mixed in with that sweet marshmallow and that earthy patchouli. I cannot believe I'm saying what I'm saying right now because if you follow my channel, you know that I am not the hugest fan of patchouli. But here, it's really doing a good job of adding a bit of, you know, earthiness to this fragrance. Really, really beautiful. There's also sea water in this perfume, which is quite weird and unexpected, but... Oddly enough, it does work because what I think it does is that it prevents the fragrance from being too heavy and cloying, so it just really balances things out. This is just a beautiful, balanced combination of a warm, spicy, sweet, sugary, clean, floral, smoky, I mean, earthy. There's just so much going on in here. My only issue with this fragrance is that I really wish it would just project more and that it would be longer lasting. I mean, the performance on this one is not terrible, but because it smells so good, you kind of want to amp it up some more. And that's the issue that I have with this one. But otherwise than that, beautiful fragrance, well worth the 20 bucks that I spent on it. Gorgeous scent. And for sure, this is one of my favorite fragrances from Mariah Carey, and it is for sure one of my favorite marshmallow fragrances. Definitely check this fragrance out. This is M by Mariah Carey. The last fragrance that I have on this list is one that I absolutely love. I've been using this fragrance like crazy. I definitely need to get myself a backup. I would literally cry if I run out of this fragrance and not be able to repurchase it. It is 
this fragrance right here. This is Classique Pinup and it's by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Now, this is a flanker to the original Classique fragrance, which I have right here, which I love equally. I absolutely love this fragrance. Someone once asked me, which one do I love more? I'm sorry because I cannot answer that. I love both fragrances equally. It just depends on the time of day that you're going to ask me because I cannot choose between these two fragrances. They are just so beautiful. And from the looks of it, you could tell that I've been wearing them a lot. And these are very strong fragrances. So one spray is pretty much all you need to get the fragrance going. So that only shows you how much I've been really using and really loving this fragrance. I would say I wear these fragrances probably three to four times a week. So... I've been really, really loving this fragrance, but right now we're going to talk about uh, Pin Up by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I'm going to start out with giving you guys the notes. Uh, this fragrance opens up with ginger and citron. In the heart, we do have orange blossom and a marshmallow. And in the base, we do have vanilla and amber. Now, in this fragrance, you do get the original DNA. So you get that big soapy orange blossom that smells a little bit like clean laundry. You also get the ginger that gives it a bit of fizziness. Now, this one is a little bit more youthful. It's a little bit more playful with that marshmallow note because you could definitely get that fluffy sweetness in here it's beautiful and i just love the way the fresh clean fizzy notes combine it smells so good it kind of smells like you're wearing a freshly laundered shirt but you spray like a marshmallow vanilla fragrance all over it that's kind of like what this smells like beautiful scent my husband goes freaking crazy every single time i wear this fragrance it's one of his absolute favorite whenever i wear this fragrance he genuinely enjoys this so i like to wear this one to bed so he could have that experience of having his wife lay next to him while he admires the way that she smells okay very very important now it's also a very very long lasting projecting fragrance so performance is like a one of this fragrance you don't have to worry about that so yeah that's all the information that I have on this fragrance. This is Classique Pinup and this is by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Oh my God, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous fragrance. Okay guys, so unfortunately that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any notes in mind that you want me to feature on my channel, I am doing a notes series. So before it's up, let me know what notes you want me to feature next. So if you have a favorite, let me know down below in the comments and I'll do my best to show you guys my favorite fragrances that features said note. Okay guys, so that's it for me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to hit that 20K. So it would be really, really appreciated if you are new and you hit that subscribe button. Also go down below in the description box and subscribe to my beauty and lifestyle channel, which is basically an extension of this channel. We just talk about a little bit more girly stuff over that side. Okay guys, so bye.